Harris lived with his mother in a small town in a country which was once attacked. His country was very peaceful and the people of the country were also very honest. There were very less soldiers in the country. So the king fell into trouble when a war broke out suddenly. The king then issued an order for all the people of the country to go to war. So the king's men went from door to door to recruit soldiers for the country as for the king's order. Once such king's men reached the house of Harris. Meanwhile in the morning Harris mother was sitting at the table having breakfast. At that time the king's man came to the door and knocked. Is there anybody home? Who came now? I'm going mother. Harris then opened the door. His mother also followed him. A war is starting next week. You have to participate in the war. It's king's order. Get ready. But my son doesn't know anything about war. He doesn't know how to use weapons and the tactics of war. The number of soldiers is much less than the country needs. So the king has decided that one person from each family has to go to the war. After listening to this, Harris understood that there is no use quarreling with these people. He thought for a while and said, "Uh, okay then, I will go to the war." After listening to this, the king's man went away. Harris had a friend who was a bat. The bat used to hang on branches of trees all day and used to guard Harris home during the night. After listening to the entire story, the bat said, "Don't worry, bro, Harris. I will take care of everything." This induced courage in Harris's mind. He packed his bag. On the other hand, Harris's mom was crying. "Mom, don't worry, mom." I will come back home safely. Please bless me, mom. Harris then took blessings from his mother. His mother hugged him with tears in her eyes and said, "My honest blessings are always with you. Our motherland will beat all enemies and win the war. You will be back to me again." After listening his mother, Harris went to war. At night, the bat would fly and overhear all the news of the enemy camp. Before dawn, he would fly back and inform Harris about the enemy's plan. Hearing all the news, Harris went to war along with his fellow soldiers the following day. In this way, the bat used to fly and provide all the informations of the enemy troop. The captain of the rival country then decided that they would ambush Harris troop and would soon end the war and return to their country. Meanwhile, the bat overheard all their plans and gave the news to Harris immediately. Harris was sitting at the dinner table and discussing the war strategy for the upcoming days when the bat barged in through the window. Harris, I have a terrible news. Tell me friend what is the news The news is enemies will attack us tonight when everyone will be asleep You are my dearest friend little bat we are able to fight with such a little soldiers only because of you I am very grateful to you my friend very grateful Then he looked at the other soldiers and said After tonight's dinner we will wait at the end of the tunnel with all our guns the rivals plan to attack us silently through that route we will get there before they arrive and wait there at the end of the narrow tunnel only one soldier can come through the tunnel at once if we can kill the soldiers one by one and then we will win and make our king proud soon Soon we can end the war and go home happily and enjoy with our families. After that, 
all the soldiers got ready in their war attire according to the instructions of Harris. Then they waited quietly at the mouth of the tunnel in the darkness of the night. The captain of the rivals was consulting his soldiers. My dear soldiers, this tunnel is very narrow. We can enter only one at a time. We will enter this tunnel one by one and will wait on the other side of the tunnel. Once everyone has reached the other side, we will attack the rivals. Hearing the captain's instruction, all the soldiers nodded their head, implying agreement. Then one by one, the soldiers entered the tunnel. On reaching the other side, the troop of Harris killed them one by one. This is how the team won the battle. The king of the country was very happy and felicitated Harris. Everyone admired Harris' intelligence. On the order of the king, the king's man came to Harris' house. Your son Harris has won us the battle and king has announced that he will be rewarded. You are cordially invited to the program. Oh God, today you have saved me and my son. I will definitely go to the program. My son, Harris has done such a great job. Today he has saved the people of our country. This is my greatest fortune. The king, queen, princess and many others sat in the palace. Harris received the felicitation from the king. My lord, I have a request for you today. <laughs> what is the request, my dear queen? If we marry Harris with our only daughter Jacqueline, then he will handle the kingdom as the next king and Princess Jacqueline will be able to stay with us after marriage. That's what I was thinking, my lord. Nice proposal and I have no objection to it. But first we have to take permission from Harris' mother. Nothing could be better than this decision, my lord. If this marriage happens, I will be overjoyed and proud for Harris. Wow! But one more thing to do. Jacqueline and Harris do not know each other. We should let them get familiar. If they agree to marry each other, then the marriage will happen. Everyone agreed happily to this proposal. Moral of the story True friends are those who help their friends in times of trouble and the strength of intelligence is more powerful than physical strength.